February 23rd, 2011. Hello. I will be writing on this blog because I am researching a show called Happy Happy. One of the main reasons why I'm researching this show is because I've been fascinated with missing TV shows, episodes, and movies. Like most people who research missing episodes, I'm hellbent on finding London After Midnight, the 108 missing Doctor Who episodes, and him, the, the 1974 film where a man was sexually obsessed with Jesus. Even though I should help the search for any fragment of the missing episodes and films, I'm going to research this one series for now. Another reason I want to research this show is because I had an experience with it around 2001. It was about 8 in the morning. My younger brother, who was 7, was watching a local station during its child TV show block. After a dubbed over Blue's Clues, it started to air a show called Chef Severi Yabroka, or Happy Apple. I can barely remember the episode's plot, but it was about this apple who was trying to help a kid named Nathaniel. It felt sort of low budget, but since my brother liked the episode, I didn't mind him watching it. The only thing that made me dubious was this evil smile that the apple did in the middle of the episode. From what I gathered in the first weeks of Noggin's existence, this happy happy show began production. Its plot was about a giant clay apple with arms, baby blue eyes, and large dark green lips being held up by a bent, rusty stick. He would go around in a white 1996 Ford Windsor, helping children when they got injured. As the show kept going, the episodes started to become more unusual. For one example, Happy Happy would often stare at the viewers of the show with a a deranged smile. It's also worth mentioning that the series slowly got more violent as the series progressed. Happy Happy was one of the shorter shows on Noggin, with every episode being 10 minutes long at the most. They played in duets, making each full episode 20 minutes long, minus commercials. A couple of months after Happy Abby aired its first episode, Nickelodeon canceled the show, and it was never shown again on Noggin or Nick Jr. Even the much more appropriate episodes weren't shown for whatever reason. However, some parents did record the show, but they were VHS copies. Of those said VHS copies, only a few survived through the years. Many of the tapes had been destroyed either due to neglect or disgust, or simply misplaced and thrown out by accident. However, some copies of the show were reportedly stolen by a uh, shadowy figure. I was one of the lucky people to own a copy of the episodes. Yesterday, when I did some winter cleaning, I found an old DVD with... H.A. episodes written on it. I had a feeling that I knew this abbreviation from somewhere. I did some research on what the H.A. meant. My first choice was the forum about missing episode slash films that I normally go to. When I entered the missing episode section of the forum, the first thread I saw was one named H.A. What's this? A woman posted the thread who had, like me, found a VHS with the initials H.A. on it. As I read the thread more, I found out that the initials on disc stood for Happy Happy. This instantly reminded me of the weird, low-budget show that I watched with my brother in 2000. In the replies, the users claimed that there are no known DVD copies around. I'm not sure how the disc got there, though. I certainly don't remember owning a disc that looked like it. After viewing the thread, I went ahead and put it into the disk drive, hoping that it would work. Thankfully, the disk did work, and it instantly cut to the intros of the episode. No menus or anything. Happy Happy's intro song had the same tune as Mary Had a Little Lamb and went something like this. Happy 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 Helps Kids All Day. Happy 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 helps kids all day. 
Happy 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 up happy up happy up happy 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 up he helps kids all day. Episode 1 and 2 were called Happy's Vacation and Hurt Happy, respectively. Happy's Vacation was exactly what you'd expect. Happy Happy goes on a vacation to the beach, heals injured kids, and even talks down a bully into not hurting a child. Hurt Happy was about Happy's stick getting broken, and the kids teaming up to help Happy Happy by giving him bandages and fruit. Nothing seemed out of place when I first saw it, but... When I saw it a second time, the episodes looked questionably odd. When Happy was driving his van to the beach in Happy's vacation, a few seconds skipped. At first, I ignored it, saying that it could be a scratch DVD. But when I checked the disc, it had no scratches on it whatsoever. Also, during the fruit scene in Hurt Happy, the kids gave him an apple for whatever reason. It could have been mistaken by the producers, though. Finally, I noticed some things and heard Happy that looked out of place. In Happy's van, during the intro of Happy's vacation, there was what looked like the border of the Hope poster. But it was so out of frame that it, it could have been something else. At the end of Heard Happy, there was a news broadcast about a 9.0 earthquake that recently struck Japan. Happy responded, Oh, no! If you want to help the Japanese, call this number! And a 1-800 number appeared. I thought those were just coincidental. Well, I was wrong. Episode 3 and 4 were stranger. The intros of these two episodes were removed, but I found out that episode 4's name was Nate Needs Help. This struck out to me because this was the very same episode I saw with my brother. But in English. Episodes 3 and 4 were missing a few scenes and overall more disturbing than the first two. On episode 3, near the 510 mark, is when Happy Appy does his first evil smile for 25 seconds. A scene that could send chills down anyone's spine was the boo boo part in Nate Needs Help. Happy aids Nate, who has a bruise on his knee. He looks to the camera, giving off the same evil smile that I remember from 2000, and says, What does Nate need for his boo-boo? For 30 seconds, he stared at the camera, motionless, with his soulless baby blue eyes looking on to anyone watching. Finally, he broke the silence by saying, That's right, a bandage. Why did he need that long to speak? I will never know. Also, the out-of-place objects were getting more noticeable. In Nate Needs Help, the radio plays what sounds like a country cover of Hot and Cold, which was made in 2008, and very out of place for a kid's show.